Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here. We're going to talk today about if you're already a pilot, what does it take to get your gyro rating? The gyro is classified as a rotorcraft, but it does go under your fixed wing license. So if you're a fixed wing pilot, getting the gyro rating is just an add-on rating, like getting a tailwheel endorsement. Um, it's just a proficiency check with two instructors, and so it's pretty easy to do. There's no hourly requirement uh, required, and so it's just uh, you have to show proficiency. Normally I'll have guys come out that are fixed wing pilots and they can learn the gyro anywhere between five and 15 hours is pretty average uh, before they have to take their proficiency check and they're signed off. So pretty easy stuff. Today we're gonna talk about the different maneuvers we're gonna do on the proficiency check. So let's just talk about that. Okay, wow, look at this green out here. It's been raining here quite a bit when all the hills are beautiful and green, I love it. So the... Um, one of the maneuvers that we like to do on our proficiency check to, to see if uh, pilots know what they're doing is we like to do slow flight. And slow flight at about 40 miles an hour. So the requirement is for them to ma maintain an altitude. Let's say we're at 2,000 now, so we'll maintain 2,000 feet and slow it down to 40. So basically I'm just gonna come back on the stick a little bit because that is our speed. I'm gonna back the power off just a little bit. We're actually at 2,100, so we're gonna back it off a little bit more. Okay. By the way, on the proficiency check, you don't have to be perfect at everything. We just want you to be safe. All right, we're at 2,000 right now, and I'm slowing us up to about 40. We're at 55 right now. I'm gonna add a little more power. Here's 2,000. All right, there's about 2,040. We'll hold this for about 15 seconds or so, and then you can uh, drop the nose down to pick your speed back up. That's the first maneuver, a little slow flight action there. All right, looking good. We're clearing traffic. I'm going to make a right-hand turn here. Another maneuver that we do <laughs> is uh, turns around a point. So we're going to pick a turn. We're going to pick this little house out on the hill over here. We call that the drug smuggler house because the drug smuggler used to live there. <laughs> he has a little runway that he built. And uh, back in the early 2000s, uh, he would uh, fly down to Mexico, come back here in the middle of the night, and land at his runway. Well, the runway's not lit. He would come in about two o'clock in the morning with no lights. One, uh, one night he was coming in, he overshot his runway and flew off the end of it and crashed. And so that was the end of the drug dealer. But we still call this the drug dealer house. All right, turns around a point. So basically you're gonna pick a target like the, uh, the drug, drug dealer house there. And we're gonna maintain the same distance all the way around and maintain an altitude, say 2,000 feet. So I'm checking my target and then I check my uh, altitude. Check my target, check my altitude. I'm making little turns left and right to stay about the same distance. We have a little wind coming out of the uh, west right now. So this portion of the turn is kind of flat. As I turn to the downwind, I'm gonna make it normal. We are on the downwind from the wind. The wind is pushing us uh, to the south. We're maintaining the same distance around the drug dealer house and our altitude is still 2,000 feet. As we approach the uh, downwind side, we're gonna make the turn a little steeper because the wind is pushing us away from the target. Altitude is still good. Target is still good. So all I'm doing is I go back and forth, altitude, target, altitude, target. All right, turning in a little steeper because the wind is pushing us a little bit to the south. I'm sorry, it's pushing us to the east. <laughs> Altitude still 2,000. Target distance is good. Altitude 2,000, target distance is good. Altitude is good, target is good. Altitude is good. Target is good. Yeah, go ahead. Number two, fine. Cherokee two mile final report in sight. Altitude good. Target good. All right, we're finishing up our turns around a point. Altitude and target are both good. And we're going to clear our turn to the left to make a left turn. Now I'm going to climb up just a little bit. All right, the uh, third maneuver we're going to do for our proficiency check is we're going to do a vertical descent. So I'm climbing up to about 2,500 feet. We're going to descend from 2,500 down to 2,000 feet, and um, we're going to maintain a heading. I like to put the heading into the wind. It kind of makes things better. And we're just going to kind of come down straight. 
Now, speed-wise, I don't like to get slower than about 20 miles an hour for my vertical descent. So we're at about 2,500 feet right now. I'm pointing into the wind, what I think the wind direction is. We we'll start backing the power off. We're gonna get our airspeed down to, eh, down in the 20s somewhere. And I'm gonna maintain a heading because I'm really on those pedals now. Because our airspeed is so slow, there's not much wind blowing over the tail. So if I push on the pedals a lot, see, not much happens. The gyro turns just a little bit because we don't really have a lot of wind blowing over the tail. Okay, we're coming straight down now. I can actually pull some more power off. Maintaining my heading, maintaining 20 miles an hour. We are looking good. We're at 2,100 feet. We're gonna recover by 2,000. So I'm gonna put the nose down a little bit. I'm gonna add power. 2,000 and we recover. So that is a vertical descent. I'm gonna clear my traffic right and make a right turn. Okay, another maneuver we're gonna do is we're gonna turn S turns down a road. I got a road right over here to my right. When you cross the road, we wanna be perfectly perpendicular with the road. And we're gonna maintain an altitude. Let's say we're at 21, so we'll say 2,100 feet. So as I cross, I'm gonna clear my traffic. As I cross the road, I start my turn to the right. Now these half circles we make, we wanna make these kind of wide. You don't wanna be super tight um, half circles for your, your uh, S turns. Checking my altitude, 2100, checking my target. Checking my altitude, 2100, checking my target. I don't wanna come out of the turn too early as I'm crossing the road is when I wanna get perfectly perpendicular. So I'm watching that, altitude's still good, my target's still good, the road's coming up. About to cross, and now we are crossing and perpendicular. I'm gonna roll into my next turn to the left. You wanna make these half circles about the same size as you're doing them. Checking my altitude, a little low, so we're gonna add a tiny bit of power. Continuing on around, we're getting a pretty good push from here. 2100, coming up on our next S turn. Getting ready to cross the road. And we're crossing and perfectly perpendicular. So those are the half circles that you're gonna make uh, doing your S turns down a road. All right, we are at 2,100 feet. And I'm gonna check my traffic to the right. There is a small airport called the Corona Airport over to our right, so I don't wanna see any traffic. Checking on my panel here, we also have ADSB in. I don't see any targets, so it looks like we're in good shape. Okay, next part of the proficiency check uh, is we're gonna do is like, uh-oh, we have an engine out. So we're gonna do a simulated emergency landing. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna pick out a landing area. I like that flat spot on the Prado Dam right over there. So I start heading towards that immediately. Then I establish best glide. On this guy, it's about 60 miles an hour. So I'm gonna hit down to 60 miles an hour. Then I'm going to troubleshoot. Did I, my knee bump the mags off? Did I turn the key off? I'm gonna kind of recycle everything, turn on my second fuel pump. Okay, none of that stuff worked. Got my eye on the target still. Looks like we're in good shape. Um, then if I have time, I'm gonna make a radio call. Hey tower, uh, we've lost our engine. I'm gonna land over here at the Prado Dam. Then you really wanna concentrate on your landing. Now, as I'm coming into land, I want I don't wanna overshoot. The tendency for everybody is to overshoot their landing. So I'm gonna come in maybe a tiny bit steep, and then if we're too steep, I'm gonna vertically descend down to, the, uh, to our landing. All right, we're still maintaining 60 miles an hour. We're looking pretty good. Getting a little close to the dam, so I'm going to slow us down so we descend. Again, we have no engine power right now. We're just kind of drifting. All right, let's get our 60 back again. There's 50. There's 60. Our glide looks good. We're coming into the flat part of the dam. And I think we would have lived on this one. And we would have landed. Oh, we got our engine back. I love that. Let's take back off. Okay, we're gonna go back to the airport, do a couple of landings uh, for the proficiency check. That's the next thing we're gonna do. Um, clearing right, turning right. Here we go. I've checked ATIS at Chino and it's information whiskey, so I'm gonna give them a call and tell them we're just west of the Prado Dam. Here we go. Chino, this is 
Torino Tower Gyro 378 Whiskey X-Ray, just west of the Prado Dam 1500. We're inbound with Whiskey. Check out 378 Whiskey X-Ray, Tower left traffic, runway 26 right. Left traffic for 26 right, 8 Whiskey X-Ray. Check out the AYC X-Ray and men destructive turn base now, runway 26 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 26 right, 8 Whiskey X-Ray. I wonder if we can do one more uh, trip around the pattern uh, after this landing. Hey, Whiskey X-Ray, uh, affirmative, uh, runway 26 right, clear for the option, right, close traffic on the go. Clear for the option, 26 right, right, close traffic on the go, 8, Whiskey X-Ray. Hey, Whiskey X-Ray, and they will more delay on the runway that's at, uh, for traffic, uh, 2 miles from trail set. No problem, 8, Whiskey X-Ray. Okay, proficiency check, uh, what we want to do is we want a targeted landing. So uh, we pick a target on the the, uh, the runway. We're going to pick the number 26. We want to land either at the 26 or up to 300 feet past the 26, but we don't want to land even a foot short of the 26. So you have a 300 foot uh, window there at the 26 or up to uh, past it 300 feet. So that'll be the first Point landing that we have to do for our proficiency check. Frequency one eight point five. A little bit of a left crosswind, not too bad. I'm gonna slow this thing down. Approach speed on landing, a good approach speed is about 60. So we're gonna get down to 60 here. Chino Tower, Cessna 441, Charlie Alpha, holding short 26 left, across left downwind departure. Now, if you feel like you're coming in too short of your target, then you would just add a little bit of power, but it looks like we're pretty in pretty good shape here. Well, we're just going to touch those back wheels on the ground. And we're going to go ahead and take back off. Six inches off the uh, runway for the nose wheel. When the machine is ready, it'll just come up off the runway, just like that. A couple of birds ahead. We'll try not to hit those guys. Climb out at about 60. All right, I'm establishing my best glide, 60. I'm checking my target out. We're looking good. I'm troubleshooting. Um, not one, working. Two, five, zero, one, two. Now I'm going to concentrate on my landing. Approaching in at 60-ish. Looking good. We have one, no one, engine power right now. Frequency change approved. Good day. One shot, Alpha. Lining up with the runway. Keeping my airspeed up till we get to the ground. Then I'm going to pull back on the stick. We'll just set those back wheels on the ground as light as we can here. Boom, right on the 2-6. All right, that's all you got to do for your proficiency check. Okay, with the X-ray right turn, uh, exit 2-1, contact ground point six. Exit 2-1, contact ground, 8 with the X-ray. All right, so that's all you have to do to get your um, gyro license, a proficiency check with those kind of items. Uh, if you like what we did, uh, like, subscribe, and share uh, below. Make comments too below if you could. And uh, we'll be happy to, in the future, do uh, whatever you'd like to see. Yeah,